Okay, next type of key that I'm going to show you how to cut is a tubular key. Uh, let's see, let's get into focus. A tubular key right here. Uh, if you notice that the cuts are on the outer rim of the circle. Um, and so you need a special machine for this. It's the laser cutting machine that we showed uh, earlier in the machine overview. Uh, so this is the uh, key blank that we're going to be cutting it on. Um, these are a little more challenging, but definitely very doable. Uh, and I'll show you how to do it. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to get this on the machine itself. So same thing, tracers on the left side. Key that we're gonna be duplicating is right here. Um, I don't think I showed this in the um, tutorial on the, the laser cutting machine, but this is, uh, it helps you level, it's like a tip stop uh, for these type of keys. Um, and then there's also actually one more thing down here which helps level out the key. There's a little switch on the back, not a switch, but like a little lever that hooks on uh, we lift it up and you see how that popped off. It allows you to straighten out this key so we can cut it properly. So this is the key that we're going to be cutting. I'll show you how to do it. There is a little notch right here and there is a notch here as well. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to insert it in here. The notch allows this flat part to go in. So you put that in. Let's tighten this part up. So it holds it in place. Okay. Now I'm gonna use this tip stop to push it, this key all the way up. Then I'm gonna release the, the latch in the back. And it's gonna provide some tension against the key, uh, which will allow it to flatten out and get to the right spot. Okay, so that is leveled, it's on right. We're gonna do the same exact thing on the right side. So I'm gonna open up this jaw right here, put the key blank in, I'm gonna tighten it, release the one in the back. So it puts tension going this way, so it keeps it um, flat. I'm gonna push that up. I'm pushing tension up this way so I can get it flat, the, the rim of the key flat against this tip stop. Once I do that, I tighten it. You don't need to tighten it a ton, just enough so you know it's holding it in place. Remove the tip stop. You can hear it almost grazing the key, meaning uh, it's right against it, which is perfect. Same thing here. I feel it going across the key. So now, um, you know, I'm feeling more tension on this one. So I want to check this one and, and put it up as high as I can um, just to make sure it's at the same level. I'm feeling tension, feels good. Okay, now the keys are set in place. Now how you do this is, it's a little tricky. Make sure this tip, this tip stops out of the way so it can go all the way back. You see how the carriage rotates in a, uh, yeah, it's on a 3D plane, so you can move it in um, a bunch of different directions. Now to do this, there's little grooves on the laser cut keys, um, the uh, tubular laser cut keys. Um, and what we wanna do is this tip stop, we wanna get it where those little notches are. And I don't come on it direct down, I come at it from the side. So when it's on, I go from the side and I cut it that way. Um, I cut it that way. So this is what I'm doing. I'm getting into the groove, to the level where the groo groove is, and then I move it in, and then I move it back and forth on that groove. And I do the same thing for each of the little notches on the tubular key. And um, it's a little tricky because you have to have a lot of control. This lever brings this down this lever moves this carriage around. So um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn it on. You wanna make sure that you have your safety goggles on. Uh, once you have those on, you gotta get started. So I'm gonna turn on the machine and I'm gonna start with the first notch on this side. 
Okay. You hear it cutting? I come in from the side. I go back and forth lightly to make sure it's cut. First notch done. I find the next one, and you have to look at it from an angle almost. Found it. I put, once I find the notch, I put pressure, a slight pressure down to make sure it cuts flatly. Okay, cut that. Gonna go to the one in the back. Back and forth over each groove to make sure it's cut well. Find the next one, come in from the side, cut, push down on it so it's getting the bottom of the groove. Cause that's where the, it's pushing the pin. So you have to make sure that's cut properly. I go to my next one, find my groove, push down. You see how I lost control of the carriage? So you have to be super careful. Once I do that one, I'm moving on to the one in the back. Back and forth. And I just make sure I cut everything properly. Trace over it. Feels good. Make sure I have all the notches in there. Sometimes you can go over you're not 100%, but I feel pretty good. We have one little one, I almost missed it. Right there. Okay, so I went all the way around, cut all of them. If you're not confident of the cut, you can go back over it again. I'm just gonna check. Feels pretty good. Okay, turn off the machine. You're gonna now uh, take this off, loosen up the jaw, pull it out. You still, uh, you don't really need a deeper too much. Uh, it already looks pretty good. I'll do a little close up of it. This is the original one, take it off. This is the original. Let's see if we can get that, there we go. That is the original, and this one is the uh, cut one. So we have both of these oops, slippery keys. We now have both of them, and they, if you look at the notches, they should be in the same place. And then uh, most of the times you won't be able to test them out on a customer's key, but um, if you can, it's always good to test it out if they have, you know, like a padlock or something here. Um, but that is the way to cut a tubular laser cut key on a laser cut machine. Um, that's how that works. Cool.